Hello friends and welcome back. This time we're playing the French Tier 8 tank destroyer, the AMX AC-48. Well, <laughs> this tank been a bit of a pain, uh, especially at the beginning since it has no radio operator, but it has an extra uh, gunner, which the previous tanks didn't have. And also the previous tank had a radio operator, this one doesn't, and the tanks afterwards, they do not have uh, the extra gunner and the uh, radio operator. So, having to train another crew member, so uh, it was really painful, especially when I started playing it, um, it was easily, easily being set on fire. Anyway. I also started playing it with the 100 uh, millimeter gun, and that one wasn't very good, especially when you're facing higher tiers. So upgrading to to the 120 was kind of beneficial because more penetration, more uh, alpha. We're talking about 400 millimeter uh, damage, and not that velocity is it. 1067 on the standard round AP so it's decent however the accuracy is not very good that's what I've noticed and it's a three shot auto uh, loader with a little bit over 31 second reload time uh, yeah it's a pain but hey I came now here to this position hoping for my EBR to spot right he's not going to do that so instead of wasting time i decided you know this guy is not gonna spot i can spot for myself even though i have about 470 spotting range but that's fine so i decided let me go to town especially after i've seen so many of the enemies in there now that he 77 goes in and i decided that we punish him and punished he did get. Okay, so three shots go in, easy peasy, and uh, yeah, close range, <laughs> there's no room to miss. Uh, but at long ranges, you're more likely to miss your shots. Anywho, after we killed these two tanks right now, the other T-77, he ran away. I'm telling you right now, he ran away, he's probably reloading, he's using that time to reload, and I'm thinking, yeah, he, he's probably going to that uh, bridge line, and then he's gonna go hold down and try to uh, keep us fired for his artillery. And from the beginning, I noticed that their artillery has XVM, so he'll probably be focusing me, and this tank destroyer can actually be penned by artillery, either from the roof, or the sides, or the back. Um, so I decided, yeah, let me go in as close as possible, and I was hoping that the T-77 would make a mistake of, you know, going a bit, like, to the side, but no. So I'm, I wait for that T-77 uh, to walk into my reticle, and I deliver my shots, and that's how I could manage to pen him three times, not wasting a shot on that clip, and then have to wait forever. And we can see that's their artillery trying to go for me, but he failed. Anywho, my artillery comes in to save the day, eliminating that guy. So we go in, since this is a very favorable matchmaking. It's only tier 8 and tier 7s. And then we notice the TS5. I hate that tank. So, I'm ready, ready now, and uh. APCR round, and we're talking about what 325 millimeter average penetration. So we fluffed the first shot, but we connected the other two. Not bad, but I kept, you know, there's no point going back to uh, you know wasting time with the extra reel or just to save credit or whatever. So angling it. This is a good angle right now for this tank to bounce that gun from
from the uh, Su-152. And I aim right there, you know, for a chance to uh, set him on fire, but it didn't happen. But that one clip, three shots, killed those two tier 7, uh, two, two, <laughs> the two tier 7 tank destroyers. Anyway, I push forward a little bit, because there's an E-25 behind me. That way I can actually have more time to reload and engage him again. But by the time I do, he's dead. So the, other, the last E-25 coming for me and he's done for. So that was an easy battle. <laughs> Seriously easy. We've done for uh, 3,966 damage with uh, 1,200 assist, bounce 900 something. So that was perfect. Um, but this tank is a pain. But it's still, you know, it can be fun when you're top tier. Um, sometimes punishing the tier tens if you're lucky. And most of the time you can get lucky, especially if you have fools on this tank. Then you're you're all good. Anyway, onwards to uh, battle stats. All right. So the after battle stats, we see we get an ace tanker, high caliber. We dealt 3,166 damage with four kills. Base XB is uh, 1331, so not too bad. Uh, yeah, 14 shots fired, 14 direct hits. 12 penetration, so we missed two or bounced two. Um, we received three non penetrating hits. We can see that uh, there was a, a daily mission that gave us a lot of credit, thankfully. And because of its uh, premium uh, time, premium account, we got more credit. And even though with the standard account, we still make like 90,000. Uh, profit so yeah not much to say it's just it was really fun um, where's that EBR anyway I, I've, I was always been curious what did my EBR do and why can't I see him on the list ah this is Okay, so he did 491. Okay, and he fired 11, pent three of them. Uh, assist, basically nothing. So yeah, he was useless. Going to town was the right uh, thing to do. Uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. At least, you know, as far as safekeeping anyway. So, see you on the battlefield. Have fun.